opening any kind of packs or you know uh, buying into breaks, which I have to start this whole thing over. <clears throat> I'm burping and just sounding like an idiot. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Joe's Card Stash, and I have another PSA reveal video for you. I have 13 cards that I just got back from PSA. It's been about two months since I sent these in. All kinds of cool stuff in here. There's old cards, there's new cards. I'm gonna talk about why I chose the cards. Again, as always, why I think grading is a great way to invest and just, it's, I just think it's fun. So I'm gonna talk about all that stuff. I think it's gonna be really cool. Please stick around and as always, please uh, like this video right now before you forget and uh, you know, subscribe, comment, let me know about you know, anything you think about the cards I pick, my grades, how I'm doing, any questions, etc. And that's it, let's get into it. Let's look at some uh, slabs, let's go. So why do I keep making grading videos? I keep making grading videos because I truly enjoy it and I still think it is the best investment in you know, the hobby. I know opening packs is fun, buying into breaks is fun, but it's really a losing proposition. Most of the time you're gonna not pull anything, you're not gonna get anything from a break. It's, it's exciting, but it's, it's, you, you lose a lot of money doing it. And um, with getting cards graded, I still think it's just, it's just such a good investment because you can buy singles that you wanna get graded, you get them, you know, you buy them off eBay, you get them in hand. If they're not great, you can just resell them and get most of your money back. So it's just not a losing scenario. And then the ones you do get that look great, you send them in, you get them back, and then you can sell them for two or three times what you paid for them, or you can keep them from your PC. So I'm a big proponent of grading. I think you guys should do it if that's what you wanna do as far as you know, have a safe, fun way to, to participate in the hobby. So that's why I do it. There's gonna be more of these videos. I hope you enjoy them, because I really do. And uh, this is, like I said, um, I think there's 13 cards in here. I sent them out about two months ago. There's a whole big mix of them. I'll talk about it as we go through them, but yeah, there's some older cards, there's some newer cards, so it's gonna be fun. Let's, uh, let's open this up and get into it. All right. So there's our 13 cards. Pull them out, put them right there. I've been told recently by one of the viewers that I'm looking too much at my monitor to see if I have the cards in the right place, so I'm gonna try to look at the camera more I hear you, man. I forgot your name, but I promise I'm gonna to try to get better at it. It's very hard. I always wanna make sure I have the cards in the right place, but you're right, I'm not moving. I should be able to just look at the camera, so I just have to think about looking at the camera. So here's my cards. Gonna move them over to the side here. Card number one. We have Tatsuro, Ta man, I'm gonna ruin this guy's name. Tatsuro Tiara, Ty Tyra? I don't know. I mean, I, I know he's an amazing fighter. I know he's a hyped rookie prospect. I've watched him fight a bunch. He's really, really good. I think he's undefeated. Um, he was someone I was targeting in Prism, 23 Prism. And this card just popped up, and I noticed that it was going. It's gonna, the auction was going to end, and it seemed like a pretty low price, so I just snagged it. And I figured if it came in, looked good, I'd get it graded and see what would happen. So it is the Blue Prism, his rookie Blue Prism. And it is out of... 175, just a dope card, um, you know, hopefully it does well, and you know, if I get a good grade on it, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll hold on to it, we'll see. So, three, two, one, Gem Mint 10, good start. Uh, there you go, uh, Tatsuru Tiara, Gem Mint 10, Blue Prism Rookie. I uh, got this card for $20, I think, and I spent $20 to get it graded. I forgot to say, this whole order was a $19 per card order, so I'm into this card for 40 bucks, and a Gem Mint 10 of the Blue Prism is it's worth about 100 bucks. So, what is that, $60 profit? It's perfect, that's, that's what I like with, with these cards, is that, you know, I'm trying to go 50, 60 bucks, not a lot of money, like, risking, but you can win, you know, win, you can, you can make a lot, you know, uh, this one will probably be for sale. All these cards, you know, hit me up if you're interested in them. Uh, Instagram's probably the best. Joe's underscore card underscore stash. And uh, just let me know what card you're interested in. I'll let you know if it's still available. I'll give you a price, etc. But pretty stoked on that one. Good first card. Card number two. We have Marlon Cheeto Vera. This is also 23 Prism. This is from the undercard set. So I believe this is a disco. And 
And uh, I didn't pull this. This was from a box battle between me and Matt at the Golden Octagon. I don't remember who pulled it. I know I won the box battle, so I got the card. Might have been me, might have been him, I don't know. But obviously, I'm a huge Cheeto fan. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards of his as far as the pose, and I just like the design and stuff. But I love this card so much that I just bought the gold version out of 10. So I have that. So this one, you know, now that I have the gold version, I'm not a big rainbow guy. Like, I, usually if I find a card I like, I just want one version of it, like a, a low numbered version. So I'm pretty happy with the gold out of 10. So I'll probably get that graded and sell this. So this one is out of 25. So it's pretty low numbered. Uh, Cheeto just won his fight against Pedro Munhoz. It's looking like he might fight for the belt against Sean O'Malley, so this is a good time to sell a Cheeto card. And hopefully this gets a 10. This card looked really good, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. One, two, three, another Gem Mint 10. Very nice, very nice. Um, yeah, uh, that's a great card. I think it's a good time to have a Cheeto card and a good time to have a Gem Mint 10. So now we're getting into some older cards. This is a 2011 Dustin Poirier Rookie. It's just a base card. Uh, it's from Topps Finest. I love these Topps Finest cards. These are really hard to grade. They're like mirrors. I don't know if you can tell, but they're, they're just very shiny and they show a lot of surface defects and stuff like that. And uh, this one, I, I think I bought it at a show. I didn't buy it online. I think I saw it at one of my local card shows. And I, I've been trying to grab older cards that are rookies of fighters I like because I just want to have lots of rookie cards of older, you know, well-established fighters. And I thought buying a Topps Finest card would be good because I can try to, you know, get it ready for, for grading, trying to figure out, you know, what, what I can get a good grade on this card with. I thought this could get a 10 and let's see, one, two, three. Ah, oh, PSA nine. It's okay. Again, this is a really hard to get a, really hard to get a gem at 10 on these. Um, and I don't think, I think there's some issues with the surface that I just couldn't get out. So I was kind of worried it would get a nine. It's not bad even if with a nine, uh, what does it get? It is worth $75 uh, for this card in a nine. And um, I'm not mad at it. I'll probably, I'll probably list it and see if anyone wants to buy it. But if not, very happy to have this in my collection. No big deal. Oh, I don't think I mentioned that the Cheeto Vera card is worth about a hundred bucks uh, in a gem mint 10. So hundred bucks for the Tatsuro, hundred bucks for the Cheeto Vera, and then 75 for the Dustin Poirier. We're doing pretty good. Next card. So um, 2018 Topps Chrome, it's my favorite set. I love it, it's my favorite UFC set. Uh, I'm actually hoping maybe to buy myself a hobby box of this by the end of the year, if I can afford it. Uh, it's, it's something I'd love to open, you know, maybe I'll split it with somebody. If anyone's interested, let me know. But 2018 tops Chrome, beautiful set. And I was doing some research. I actually, I think I've mentioned this before, but, uh, I use this app called market movers. I'm actually an affiliate for them. And it's a tool that you can use to like compare card values, to track, uh, values of cards and sets and stuff like that. And I was looking up 2018 tops Chrome at like cards that you know, you can buy for a cheap price and if they grade a 10, you can make a lot of money. And this card came up. This is a Conor McGregor Octagon of Honor. And um, it's a really cool looking card. And these are like 10, 20 bucks raw. And if it gets a good grade, they can be worth 100, 120. So a big boost. And Conor is like gold. I mean, honestly, I don't love Conor McGregor. He's not my favorite fighter, especially the new version of him. I think he's just a douchebag. Not interested in all in him, but he sells great. I mean, you can sell this like, like nothing if it gets a good grade, uh, just because, you know, it's not just the fight community that likes Connor. Everybody likes Connor. He breaks through the UFC and stuff like that. So he's very liquid. Um, so let's see what we got. One, two, three, another gem mint 10. That's great. That's going to be a huge one. This is definitely for sale. I don't want this card for me. This was totally an investment. So if you're a Connor McGregor fan, yeah, if you're a Connor McGregor fan and you want this card, hit me up. Uh, Octagon of Honor, 2018, Topps Chrome, uh, Gem Mint 10, very cool. Now next for 2018 Topps Chrome is Habib Nurmagomedov. Um, this is a card I wanted, again, I, I love Topps Chrome 2018, you know, love this design that they do there. And this was one of the, the cards that I just love this photo. 
I'm really, like, I've started collecting just cards that have really cool photos that I like, and of course fighters that I like, but as far as, like, an action photo, that's just amazing. Uh, the uppercut, like, the wide angle, just right up in the action. Oh, I just spit on it. Oops. Let's wipe that off. Sorry if we're spinning on you, Habib. Uh, love this photo. Love this card. Um, I bought this, actually, this was cracked. I bought this in an SGC 10. I've been doing that lately, too just buying um, SGC slabs because they're way cheaper. And, uh, you know, with, with these 2018 cards, they can also be very surface dependent. So it's very hard to tell if the surface is good. So an SGC 10 is probably going to have a really good surface. It's going to grade well. And it, I think it was, what did I buy this for? $35 for an SGC 10. And I figured it had a really good chance of getting a PSA 10. So let's count. One, two, three. Gem Mint 10. Nice. I'm <laughs> crushing it. Holy shit. Uh, pretty happy with this grader right now. Um, yeah, this is a tough one. I really like this card, but I may sell it just because it's worth a lot. Uh, what is this worth? Oh, and I forgot to mention this is a refractor. This isn't the base card. This is the refractor, so it's a little more rare. Um, it's worth about $125. That was the X-Fractor is the closest thing I could find. The X-Fractor in a PSA 10 sold for $125, so this will be a little less than that, maybe 100 bucks. But, you know, I'm only into the card for $55 altogether, so it's not bad. We'll see. I'll put it up. No one wants to buy it. Same thing. I love this card. Happy to keep it. And, uh, but if anyone out there is interested in it, it's beautiful. Beautiful card. Gem N10. Habib. Refractor. And we have our last 2018 Topps Chrome card. This one I actually pulled. Uh, there's a video, I'll link it below, uh, where I bought like three or four packs of 2018 Topps Chrome, and I happened to pull an auto, which is pretty hard from loose packs, and it is Mr. Max Holloway, who just had an incredible win over the Korean Zombie, and I got his auto, it's on card, and I didn't realize it at the time, but it's actually an Octofractor, which means, um, if you can kind of see it, I don't know if you can, but... There's a pattern, an octagon pattern, all around the card. It's really cool, and it makes it pretty rare. I don't know the exact rarity of this. I know my friend uh, Brendan Mania has one of these, and he knows how rare these are. Maybe he'll hit me up in the comments and let you know. But they're just hard to hit, and I was so excited when I hit this. And it looks great. It looked really clean. Let's see what it got. One, two, three, gem and ten. This might be one of my favorite cards in my collection. Like Just the fact that I pulled this. Max is such a legend, and it's just a beautiful card. I really, this, it really doesn't do it justice right here. I'll take a cool photo of it. But um, let's see, I got this for, you know, obviously I bought the pack, so I don't really count that. Uh, this is worth around $200. It's hard to say. They don't sell very often, the Octo Octofractors. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, just around 200 bucks. It might be 250 now because he won that fight against the zombies. He's, he's, he's pretty popular again. You know, everyone's wondering if he could get another another chance at the title, but uh, that's amazing. That's going to be tough for me to sell. Maybe I'll list it for like 300 bucks, and then if no one wants to buy it, I'll just keep it, which I'm very happy with. It's one of my favorite pulls. Beautiful card. Now, another older card we have is Mighty Mouse, Demetrius Johnson. This was a gift. This is from my friend Luke MMA. Uh, I think that I, I'll link it below his, his Instagram. I can never remember, but he has a great YouTube channel. He has a great podcast, just one of my favorite people in the hobby. And he knew I collected Mighty Mouse cards and he collects uh, 2012 Bloodlines black cards. He's actually trying to get the whole set. He has every one except for the Habib, which is Habib's rookie. It's a massive card, but he's always on the lookout for that. But he has doubles of a lot of these cards and he had doubles of this um, Mighty Mouse card. And he sent it to me, but it was in a BGS holder. And I'm sorry, Luke, I just don't like BGS holders. So I cracked it. It was an 8.5. I'm hoping it gets an 8. You know, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's pretty beat up. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, it's got some rough corners. These things are really hard to grade. They, they you know, they have black edges all the way to the end. So they have a lot of chipping. And they're old. I mean, this is a, you know, 11-year-old card. So let's see what we got. One, two, three. Oh, a seven. Wow, that really downgraded. Um, I don't care. I mean, this isn't for sale. This was a gift. It's a really freaking cool card, and I'm just happy it's slabbed, and it matches all my other PC cards because I have everything in PSA except for 
a couple tag cards. So very cool. Thank you again, Luke. I'm so stoked to have this and uh, I won't even tell you the value of this because it doesn't matter because it's priceless because it was a gift. Our next, now we are getting into my latest project. Um, I have a whole bunch of 2009 round one, Topps UFC round one cards. I got them as a gift. I think I talked about this previously, but I got a bunch of these as a gift and I started grading them and I started getting nines and getting nines in these cards is very difficult. So I have BJ Penn rookie in a nine, Anderson Silver rookie in a nine, Brock Lesnar rookie in a nine. So my goal is to just to try to get all the major fighters in this set in nines. And it's going to take me a while because, you know, a lot of times these don't grade at nines. It, it's really hard. You know, you, you scour the internet for the best looking versions of these cards and, you know, you send them in, you get eights and sevens because they're just really old and they're very, they're very hard to grade. So this is the big guy. This is the Hoist Gracie. This card I really want and I, I got to keep looking for it. If anybody out there has round one uh, cards in good condition and they want to sell them, hit me up. I'm always looking. I found this one on eBay. It looked really good. What did I pay for it? Um, I paid 35 bucks for this card. Uh, if this gets a nine, I will be ecstatic. One, two, three. Oh, an eight. A near mint eight. Again, um, really good for these cards. It's, it's not bad at all. In fact, this card sells for, what does it sell for in an eight? It's about a hundred bucks in an eight. So nothing wrong with this at all, but I'm going for nine. So I am going to sell this. Anybody wants a hoist rookie? This, a lot of people say this is the Mickey Mantle of UFC cards. You know, this is the godfather of, of jujitsu. And this is his rookie card. This is the first card he has in a Topps uh, UFC card. So very happy with this. I am going to sell it. Try to find a nine. So if anybody else has really good raw versions of these, let me know. And I have a couple more of these. This is uh, Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell's rookie card. I got this at a show. I think I paid, what did I pay for this? 20 bucks. And um, this one actually doesn't sell very well. It is Chuck Liddell, who's very popular, but it's not the greatest photo of him. It's, it's just kind of a terrible out of focus photo. So it, he has a photo in round two that's way better where he's doing his, you know, kind of the thing he does when he wins. Uh, so this card's, you know, it, it, it's technically his rookie card, but it's not the most popular card. But again, I, I want, I want the, a nine of this. So let's see. If we, this one looked pretty good. So maybe we get a nine. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, a near mint eight. Same thing. Um, yeah, uh, probably going to sell this. It's not worth much at all. Uh, in an eight, it's worth about $25. But anybody wants it? Anybody wants a Chuck Liddell uh, rookie card in a near mint eight? Let me know. And I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to buy more of these and see if I can get a nine. And the last one for my 2009 round one cards is Cain Velasquez. Again, these are all rookie cards. That's why I like this set so much. Everyone in this set is a rookie because it was the first time Topps made UFC cards. And so this is Kane's rookie. Uh, again, hoping for a nine. I think this actually was from the original group that I got from um, a viewer. And I think they've all got nine. So I'm pretty hopeful for this one. I mean, these, he really took care of these cards. So let's see. One, two, three. Yes. Got the nine. There we go. Wow. That's awesome. So now I have BJ Penn, Anderson Silva, Brock Lesnar, and Kane Velasquez rookie cards, all in PSA nines in round one. Very, very cool. I'm looking for the Nate Diaz. Looking for the Hoist Gracie. Looking for the GSP. The GSP is hard. That one's really expensive. Um, I think there's a few others. I can't remember off the top of my head, but those are the main guys I'm looking for. If you have any of them or know anybody who has them, they have to be really pristine. Let me know. I'm a buyer. And we're back to some new cards. Uh, I think the last three cards are all from my premium box set, my Prism premium box set. Um, these were just some ones that I noticed uh, looked really good and I hadn't graded them. I wanted to clean the surface a little bit because they might have had something on them. That's why I didn't send them originally, but we cleaned them. They look great. And uh, this one is Sergey Pavlovich. Uh, this guy's a beast. I really think in the heavyweight division, he's a monster. Him and Aspinall. And um, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens with John Jones, but 
this guy could really do something in the division. Hopefully we can get a 10. Here we go. One, two, three. Gem at 10. We're back there. Nice. Um, so yeah, I got these in the set, so I, I don't really, I mean, you know, whatever I paid for the set, but I've paid that off easily. So this is worth about 75 bucks in a Gem Mint 10. So this is for sale. Any Sergey fans out there, let me know. Next one is the same thing. Uh, premium set, Prism 2023, Hamzat Chemaev. Um, Hamzat, same thing, looked great. I cleaned the clean the, the surface, tried to get everything off of it. I think it looks really good. Here we go, one, two, three, jump in 10, nice. These cards are grading really well, these premium sets. I think I've gotten almost all gem mint 10s. This one again is worth about 75 bucks. Uh, any Hamzat fans out there want it, hit me up, that's for sale. And lastly, we have Mr. Ian Gary, who looked really good recently versus Neil Magny. Um, I mean, I talked about that in my last video. He's just, a, he's really good. And the leg kicks were just unreal. So uh, this is not his rookie card. This is his second year, but um, you know, Ian Gary, I forgot to mention, these are all out of 99, uh, the last two cards as well. And here we go. One, two, three, Gem Mint 10 again. Great way to end it. And um, yeah, Ian Gary, same thing, worth about 75 bucks. So. Uh, all those are for sale. Ian Gary, same thing. Let me know if you guys are interested in all of them. Let's figure out exactly how we did here. We have one, two, three, three tens, one nine, two eights, a seven, ten, 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 another nine, ten, ten, ten. So, okay, here we go. We have Eight tens, two nines, two eights, and one seven. That is pretty good. That's like eight out of 13. That's like a, God, I don't even know the percentage, but that's a really good gem rate percentage. Um, so the total value of everything that I just read off or everything I showed you is about $1,175. The grading fees was about $250. So I made about $800 or so. Obviously, you know, I paid different things for different cards. So I'd say altogether from this order, I made probably around 500 bucks. And like I said before, you know, compared to opening boxes, I opened three boxes of select hobby. I maybe got $200 worth of cards and that was $700 worth of product. With that, I lost $500. With this, I made $500. And I have a whole bunch of cards that I'm gonna keep for my PC, so. Again, grading, it's the best. And um, there'll be more of these videos coming out because I'm, I'm still doing it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want any of these cards. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of how I'm grading. If you have any questions about how I'm getting you know, good grades and stuff like that, I do want to do more tutorial videos about how I'm cleaning the surface of these cards and how you know, just getting them ready for PSA, things like that. I know a lot of you don't grade much, so I thought it would be good to help out. So gonna record those videos soon. Thanks again for watching. You guys are the best.